Late evening, Friday, December 10th, 2021, a violent tornado moved across western Kentucky, causing catastrophic damage in numerous towns, including Princeton, Dawson Springs, Bremen, and Mayfield. The tornado was on the ground for nearly three hours, causing a path of destruction over 165 miles long. It grew to 1.5 miles wide at its peak and lifted debris over 30,000 feet into the air. The National Weather Service issued a tornado emergency for Mayfield, Kentucky at 9.26 p.m. as the massive EF4 wedge tornado approached the town from the southwest. Mayfield Consumer Products, a candle factory, where approximately 110 employees were working, took a direct hit. The large metal framed warehouse building completely collapsed, trapping many employees and resulting in eight deaths and numerous injuries. A tornado warning had been issued earlier that evening at approximately 5.30 p.m. and then again after the second tornado warning was issued at 9 p.m. Allegedly, workers' jobs were threatened if they left the factory between the first and the second tornado warnings for the area. The tornado's destruction continued on to the city of Mayfield where hundreds of homes were damaged or completely destroyed along with many commercial properties. Trees were debarked, cars were thrown, mobile homes were obliterated. Most of the structures in downtown Mayfield were heavily damaged or destroyed, including large, well-built multi-story brick buildings. Just large piles of bricks, lumber, and twisted metal remain in the hardest-hit portions of the downtown area. The courthouse that stood since 1888 wasn't able to stand up to the 155-mile-an-hour winds. The December 10th storm took the lives of 81 Kentuckians. One year later, members of the community, including first responders, met at the Candle Factory's foundation for a celebration of Hope Walk into town. It was a foggy, rainy morning as they filed past the twisted grain silos and broken trees, still scarred from last year's devastating tornado. They arrived in Mayfield's town center near the temporary memorial to those who lost their lives during the storm. The outpouring of support from all over the world has lifted the community spirit. To be able to walk from here all the way to where the courthouse is, it's just, I can't explain it. Residents' lives have been upended by the tornado and even one year later, evidence of the storm's power remains. Where once were houses, now, only empty cement slabs remain. Debris piles the size of city blocks still need to be hauled off. And remaining buildings are boarded up to stop further water damage. Slowly but surely, however, the community is fighting back. Determined to rebuild, construction projects can be seen everywhere in Grace County. Over 40 new homes have already been built using state funds and donations. And the governor recently announced that Osmondson Manufacturing is investing in a new $12.5 million facility that will bring over 80 new jobs to the county. The resilience of the people of Mayfield and Graves County is truly inspiring. I didn't even have limbs in my yard, but I told God, you got me through this one. And I said, I'm gonna give back as much as I possibly can.